Hi, and welcome to the loving kindness practice. This is a practice that's meant to begin to incline our hearts as well as our minds um, towards a greater sense of kindness and compassion in this world and in ourselves. Uh, this practice has been shown to have uh, tremendous benefits for our own health and well-being. And so just seeing if you can begin to incline your own mind um, towards a sense of uh, wishing well, wishing well for others, wishing well for yourself. And I'm going to suggest a few phrases to use in this practice. And eventually you can come up with your own phrases, but these are just some that are generally uh, used to help incline the heart in this practice. So once again, gently closing your eyes if you feel comfortable doing that. If not, a dull gaze towards the floor while you're seated or lying down. And beginning with a few deep breaths. And just checking in with where you're starting this moment from. Physically, emotionally, mentally. And considering a person in your life who's easy to care about. This could be a good friend, an intimate partner, or perhaps an animal that you care about, someone who's living. And imagine them sitting here right in front of you, looking into your eyes. And getting a sense of your heart in this moment, and perhaps it's easiest if you put your hand on your heart to connect with it. And with intention, saying to this person, may you be happy. May you be healthy in body and mind. May you be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. May you be free from fear, the fear that keeps you stuck. And again, breathing in and breathing out and reconnecting with your heart. And now inclining your mind and your heart towards yourself. And saying to yourself, may I be happy. May I be healthy in body and mind. May I be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. May I be free from fear, the fear that keeps me stuck. And now, breathing in and breathing out and considering a person in your life that you don't know too well. Perhaps it's the checkout person at the local supermarket or maybe that person that you seem to see everywhere that you don't know very well or someone at work that you've never really spoken to. And imagining them sitting here right in front of you. Connecting with your heart once again. And just like you did for the person who's close to you, saying now to them, may you be happy. May you be healthy in body and mind. May you be safe and protected from inner and outer harm. May you be free from fear, the fear that keeps you stuck. And breathing in and breathing out and now bringing to mind someone in your life who you've had difficulty with. This may not be the person that you've had the most difficulty with as in having a trauma or something like that in your life, but someone you're frustrated or irritated with or annoyed with and bringing that person to mind. And as you gather that person, imagine them sitting here right in front of you looking into your eyes and with the same intention and heartfulness that you had for the person who it was easy to care for, now saying to them, may you be happy. May you feel safe and protected from inner and outer harm. May you be healthy in body and mind.
May you feel free from fear, the fear that keeps you stuck. And now imagining expanding this sense of heartfulness and intention throughout the entire world. All countries, all peoples, may we all be happy. May we all be healthy in body and mind, seeing if you can really connect with this intention. May we all feel safe and protected from inner and outer harm. May we all be free from fear, the fear that keeps us stuck. And breathing in and breathing out. And as we end this practice, gently doing another mindful check-in, getting a sense of how you're feeling now without any expectation or judgments, but more with just seeing how is this body, emotions, what emotions are present. Is this mind busy or calm? And perhaps ending by thanking yourself and all the people who you've included in this practice. And when you're ready, gently letting the light seep through, opening your eyes.